Good morning, sir. I am Gudel A. Purubido from B. Ed. 2C. Here is my semi-dated lesson plan in grade 3. Allow me to start. Shana, you may now lead the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us healthy body and sound mind. We thank you for another opportunity to learn. Bless us with wisdom to understand our lessons and the joy to learn with our classmates. Bless also our teachers as they impart to us the value of learning. Keep us safe in your loving kindness. This we ask in the mighty and sweet name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, class. Good morning. Let us check your attendance. Gaisa, Todd, Julian. Okay, everybody are present. Let us clap your hands. Do we have an assignment? Okay, let us check your assignment. Pass your paper into one, two, three, four, five. What was our lesson last meeting? Anyone? Okay, that's right, Mary Joy. Our topic last meeting is about the senses. What are the senses? Oh, very good, Alexander. Sense of smell. You use sense of smell? What parts of the body? Okay, very good. It is our nose, the sense of smell. This time, I want to show you a picture. What did you observe in the picture? Are the plants are the same? All right. Before we are going to tackle our new lesson this morning, let us read first the objective of our new lesson. So at the end of the lesson, the grade 3 pupils are expected to describe the parts of the plants, infer the function of each part of the plant, explain the importance of plants to human. Are you ready class? Before we proceed to our new lesson, let's have an activity first. The only thing you should do is to drag and drop the pictures in the box that you can see the different parts to make a plant. Do you have an idea what was our lesson this morning? Our lesson this morning is all about part of the plants. Parts of the plants. So first, the roots. So the roots are usually found at the bottom portion of the plant. So you can see the picture. So they have are usually under the ground but some roots followed on the ground surface so roots serve to absorb water remember water is very important to plants roots also keep the plant anchored roots are also absorb some nutrients for the plants to grow healthy stems stems are located usually above the roots most stems have long tube-like structures stems transport water and nutrients in another plant, parts of the plants water and nutrition nutrients may come from the roots or the leaves another function of the stem is to support leaves flowers and roots. In some plants, they become hard and woody as they mature. The stem of the tree is called the trunk. Leaves. Plants are living things that can make own food. They make food through a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process making food in the pre presence of sunlight. Photosynthesis happens in the leaves. And the singular is the leaf. Most leaves are flat, thin, and 
green. The other parts of the plant are flowers. The flowers are used to a tools to help the plant reproduce. Flowers come in different varieties. And some flowers are big and are small. And there are flowers that smell good and the other that have strong odor. The smell of the flowers attracts insects and this will help them in pollination. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the stamen to the pistil of the flower. When the pollination happens, the flower will later bear fruits. And some of the fruits are carry seeds. These seeds develop into new plant and some fruits are big and some are small. So the some have only one seed such as the mango and, and other have seeds such as atis fruits. Okay class, this time I want you to group into four. So you have to do is to answer what's in the worksheets. So, okay? So for the instruction, you have to draw and complete the picture that given to you in the worksheet. Okay? I will give you five minutes to answer that question. Okay? You may now pass your paper. I have here uh, five questions that you have to answer. So you have to do is to fill in the blank. It's okay? Okay, you may get one fourth sheet of paper. Then answer the question in front of you. You may now start. For your assignment, I want you to draw and identify the parts of the flower. Okay? Very good. Okay, class. That would be end our lesson for this morning. So, see you next meeting. Goodbye.